the 2015 Alberta Trappers Association Rendezvous was hosted by Lacklebish Trappers Association Local 1120. The event was held in Plamondon, Alberta, just minutes from Lacklebish. Attendance was record setting, with both supper meals sold out and over 500 people at each meal. The trade show was busy again this year and featured displays for every outdoorsman. <laughs> there was a strong supply of traps, lures, and gear for every trapper. North American Fur Auctions was on hand with a beautiful fur display. Oh, yeah. NAFA has a top lot program where they give out hats and pins and certificates to trappers whose furs have been deemed the best in a particular auction. Proud, proud. Top Actually, lot for what? I, I, got, I got one for, for Fisher, and Matthew, uh, our son, got uh, one for Beaver. No kidding. Yeah. Thank you very much. You're very welcome. Congratulations. So that you should see at the front here, it's like a, for a sleigh. Oh, yeah. And it all folds up this way. So four feet? Yeah, four feet by five feet. Can you make these? There were many trade demonstrations, including skinning and fur handling, put on by some of the best in the business. Seminars on a whole host of topics ran both days. I caught Morley Smith's wolf snaring seminar, and it was very popular. So this is the Coyote finale. The ultimate trappers competition is always a crowd here. So, Once more uh, this year, they were both senior and we're junior let it events. Go here now. We're going to check for timers again. Coyote speed skinning was so popular it had to be run in two heats. These guys are fast, unbelievably fast. Justin Wasasu won it all with a record setting 2 minutes and 26 seconds. At uh, 10 a.m. today, that's starting again this morning, we've got uh, quad and Argo demonstrations right at the north end of the tent here. And at uh, 10 also, the beaver setting demonstration, that's Ron Johnson, 
That's at the uh, southeast corner of the property, right against the bush. <coughs> then fish and wildlife presentation, proper biologist. And Ken Maxwell, proper compensation. That's at the theater. So if you're interested, if you've got oil companies or logging outfits that want to get onto your trap line, you have uh, a right to ask for compensation. And that's taking place in the theater. And at 10.30 is the wolf snaring demonstration. So before you can skin anything, you've got to catch it first. And that's important to find that out. Okay, enjoy. junior events for the Ultimate Trapper competition was setting squirrel snares. And yet least tied it Alan bottom, Purdy was the special guest judge. Pole, see, Alan is more windy. than qualified it's to judge this event as in one it's winter so bad because he snared it's over the 14,000 worst is what it's to the ground coming up. The tree mm -hmm. this way, yeah. this way, they're both way. He's got the loop oversized again here, but at least <laughs> off to the side. So this fella is more in tune with catching a squirrel than the first pole. <laughs> The last event of the Ultimate Trappers competition is the snowshoe race. Each year sees a new twist on this event <laughs> to make it more challenging. You know you can have this kind of fun at the rendezvous, did you?
Good boy, Duggan! Hats off to all the competitors that took part in the grueling challenge and a very special thanks to the six guys who entered all of the Ultimate Trapper competition events. Congratulations to this year's champion, Justin Wasasu. Pincher Creek is the site of the 2016 Rendezvous on July 1st and 2nd. Sandy and I hope to see everyone there. That's me.